Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. So we technically beat the game last episode? Now nah, you're just doing some stuff. Trying to clear some Pokedex entries. We're gonna go back to the village and see. Okay, Licky Licky's done. I think Haunter's been done. Dustclops, Obama Snow, Mistrevious, Swine Up. Oh, okay, I got close on this one. Kill five more with grass type moves. Or catch another. I'll catch another. Oh, we're getting close on Zora. Oh, speaking of Zora, mine's ready to evolve. So we're going to return to the village, and um, I think we're supposed to go visit the professor. So let's check on our Zorua. Yep. Beautiful. I love the way. I love the way the Zora arc looks. Doesn't look like I got any more um, candies. We talked to Silene too. Um, oh, I see. That's where we need to go. But there is stuff on the board, so we're gonna grab these. Oh, just one. Many of the Diamond Clan says she was saved by a mysterious Pokemon many years ago. Okay. So let's go see what this is about. So, I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Sure did. Indeed. That only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Lavington, to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it is hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends. After all, who knows if they are even real? Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How are we to know what's true and what's not? Pardon? Couldn't help it over here. Oh, this dude. If it's he suing history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Why, well, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead of... Um, I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh ho, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Cat. You are to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed for the sake of the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood. I'll set up at the Heights camp then. Cat, I'll be expecting you. Oh, we're gonna run into some... Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. Obsidian Field Lance, okay. Let me check. Let's see. So I do have Dialga. Dialga has dragon types. Dragon, steel, and ground. That's okay. 
How are we, Zorark? Dark and Ghost. I have other Pokemon with that, but I do like Zorark. Can't remember who I had in my lineup before I got Dialga. I did have Frostlass. I liked her because she was high level. Um, Alright. I think we'll be okay if we run into anything. Did you say Fieldlands Camp? Nope, Heights Camp. Guess we're just walking straight. Ah, there he is. Oh, that's right. I do remember seeing several of these pictures around. There's one in a cave tunnel. There's one in a tunnel underneath um, the Cerulean. Like, if, you, if you're on the water, there's like a tunnel that goes through the cliff. There's one in there. Cat, there you are. Have a look here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that that might be letters. Rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. Okay. All-encompassing? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is Arceus. Yep. Perhaps you've already heard this name. Does sound familiar? Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? But now let us discuss the fragments. It must surely be the plates. Oh, yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that they have all got words carved onto their backs? Go on, give them a read. Read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed along, breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. What'd you say, Cat? I think we should try to gather all the plates. And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. That's up in Coronet. I would love to get a shiny Zorar Zorark. Okay, and back out. We are going to wait. Is the Grueling Grove in- Wow. I could have sworn it was in Coronet. I might be thinking of something else. Oh, way over here. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. Nope. Here we go. <gasps> I think that's the shining. Shiny chime. 
Oh, no, get down! I'm gonna stick to a great ball for this. Which one are you? Is it this one? This one looked different. Oh! Completely missed. Oh no! What am I doing? Don't be dumb. We're going to... Game controls? No. Settings. Turn off. Now we're going to save. Hard save. Okay. I think it's this one here. Actually, let's switch to jet ball. Beautiful. Oh, it is! Look at that! That was a shiny combi. Cool. I wonder if I can get a shiny Vespa Queen out of it. That would be sweet. I would have that in my team. Now, Cat, according to my own investigations... An Alpha Vespa Queen? Terribly sorry, Cap. Do you think you could handle it? Yes, I have a fire type. Right in the lead. Stone plate? You do the essence of rock. How did I get that from a Vespa Queen? Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Yeah, exactly. Maybe it just happened to find the plate laying around? In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there must still be more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. Mistress Kagita. The one and only. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for helping... For her help in obtaining the red chain, am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So onward to the ancient retreat. Uh, how do I get to the ancient retreat? Uh, let's zoom out. Okay, so it's over here. Let's go take a look at our shiny combi. Our ah, best queen isn't very high. I do have one of her. Okay. It does feel very weird. Oh, outbreaks, what do we got? Yeah, okay. Not that interested. It is very weird that just like a regular alpha Vespa Queen just had the stone plate. Like I was getting these from noble Pokemon. <laughs> it almost makes me think that like Bolo had it, but why wouldn't he just give it to us? 
I like her little hut. Oh, lost one. It's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well, and you carried out your duty as you were bid. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about the plates. Ah, yes, a tale whose origins lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended across many generations. These forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokémon that created the Hisui region, and I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokémon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I've got nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator. Arceus, had anything concrete been passed down? Oh, okay, so what she's saying is if anything um, like tangible had been passed down, they would not have confused Dialga and Palkia for Arceus. If only we had more to go on, the answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Cat here fell from the sky. Aha, I see what you intend. Very well, I'll help as best as I can. There are still other tremendous Pokémon in Hisui, other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokémon of the Lakes, of course. And the Temple Giant. The Crescent Moon, the Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? The Crescent Moon. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the Coronet Highlands for now. See, I'm thinking... Oh, Moon View Arena. Well, that, that tells me straight up. Now then, what would you hear of? Oh, so we're just going to get all the quests from here. I was thinking for the moon we would go right where the Clefairy moon quest was, but now it's telling me Moon View Arena. Well, where could that be but Fire Spit Island? Of course. The Temple Giant. Snow Point Temple. Open the door that's sealed. Okay. Three Lake Pokemon, we know them. Aha, yes, them you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become so we can catch them now, I'm assuming. Uh, the beginning, and this is Arceus. A beginning for you, certainly. Where was it you first fell to Earth here? Oh, Prelude Beach. I wonder if these are... I can't think of their names, but they're the... Like the seasoned Pokemon? Does that make sense? They're like the big dog. Um, done with your questions, are you? It appears that the, poke that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed, for your own sake and for that of the Pokedex you labor on. Okay, now let's find those plates. I think I'm going to start with Prelude Beach. It's just as I suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Cat. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the back of the, the backs of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kogita mentioned, Cat. I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Okay. I like this music. It's like it's got that clock chime sound. Which makes sense for Kagita. Oh, what's happening? I've had a message from Mistress Kagita. I'm told you've, you're you collecting plates of some sort with the Merchant Volo. 
Yes, then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. That's where I was headed. Cool. He must know something. Oh, you know what? I can warp. Ooh. really wild Bidoof here? Or those are the Bidoof from the quest that I had to find them. Oh, right out on the pier. Oh, he's in his samurai armor. Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now it's not the time for words. Face me in battle. We're doing this. He must have one of the plates then. He's got five. Did he have five before? I think he only had four before. Oh no. Oh wait, I do have a grasping gun on uh, Nine Tails. do it. Yes. Wow, okay, even my strongest move. Fighting type? Yep, there is Drain Punch. do much to me though. Well, I get two moves, so let's just make it good. I highly recommend when you're using your um, gravel and grit and stuff like that, max out speed. Oh, no. See if I've got something better. Iron tail. Oh, nope. Shoot. My nine tails is out. Uh, I think it would be bad if I brought out Dialga. Let's just continue with Typhlosion. Shatter ball. No, I'm gonna keep my double move. All right, I got two in a row. Going down. takes me out. I've got a Lux Ray. Yeah. Come on, Lux Ray. We got 65. <laughs> awesome. One more to go. Fire cross. This is bug. Now my my fire ones are dead. Oof. 
We're gonna thunder wave you. Psychic. Is Hair Hair Cross part fighting? I'm assuming so from close combat. But we got two moves. Get it, Psyduck. Go team. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Cornet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. Oh, the fist plate. Fighting type, great. When the very f first of our galaxy expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on this same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adamant, Irida, it appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Hmm. It might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. I know I have no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokemon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Yes, sir. All right, and I think that's where I'm gonna end this episode. And when we come back, we are off to find more plates. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.